So I think I might have had a setback with the Mini Me dry cell. As you can see, it looks like it's gotten full of the red oxidized iron. Or, uh, excuse me, iron. It looks like it's full of iron oxide. And uh, I did a fill up the other day. And I checked it and I didn't see any hydrogen coming out of the line here. So I've been running for like nearly 700 miles or as much as 700 miles as physically possible. As you can see, or maybe you can't see it, there is uh, some iron oxide sediment on the bottom of this tube. And iron oxide sediment in here although I can still see through it so I'm gonna tear it apart and have a check it all out see how we've been doing so now here's our reservoir bottle it's got enough to run but I think there might have been I don't know maybe it was just too little water Maybe we need a bigger container. Like I said, this was for the motorcycle, but it fits so good that I put it in here for now. Alright, we take the Mini-Me apart, and we find the glass itself has a stain on there. Is it permanent? No. Comes right off. How do the plates hold up? Well, they have obviously been used. Some of it comes off. Some of it has a slight discoloration from being used. And on this side, we have, I think we have a coating of iron oxide. does come off with a little bit of effort not enough to plug the unit take a look at another one this one looks better uh, that side this side looks the same as the first one let's examine which way that was polarity was on that Now then, we had positive here, and positive here, and negative here. So on, these, on this first stack of plates, we had positive on this side and negative, oh excuse me, we had positive on this side and negative on this side. I'm now going to clean up these plates and reassemble the mini me. Okay, as you can see, the plates all cleaned up pretty well. That's about the worst. More permanent stain where there was actually no bubbles being made this is this is the air gap and all cleaned up pretty good we'll uh, reassemble it and we'll do some comparative testing next time we meet.